Can I get it? Your hey, little kitties. Hey, little hey. What's up, guys? It's the girl, the guy's name, Five Four Head Gang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and of course, as you know, I am here to teach you how to edit and flex and slay all on your iPhone A. All on your iPhone A. But we don't call it the iPhone. We call it the pocket camera. You up? First things first. I just launched my second channel right here. <laughs> Pocahontas from the Boogie Down Bronx. You know what I'm saying? King King all day South Bronx. And it be so awkward when you see people coming in and the window is right here. But what happened? You gonna subscribe? What happened? What happened? I I digress. Just launched my second channel, Pocahontas from the Boogie Down Bronx. And it's gonna be a reaction channel, mainly a reaction channel, as well as pranks and as well as challenges. But I want you guys to go over there and show me some love. Also, I also made an entirely new Instagram, her Melon and Pocket Camera Coach. So make sure you guys follow that. Okay. All right, enough with the announcements. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys why I turned down a sponsor. And initially, this video was going to be how to gain, gain sponsors as a small content creator with under a thousand followers on Instagram and with under 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So we're going to get right into this video, but before we do, make sure y'all hit that like button, make sure that you comment down below and make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Eww. <laughs> Fix the girls. Before I hit a thousand subscribers, I had a variety of companies and brands reach out to me to not only sponsor the girl with the guy's name, Gang Gang, but to collab. One of those sponsors was going to be a jewelry sponsor. I'm not going to say the name because we keep it real cute and classy over there. Okay? But initially, I was going to get 30% commission. I was going to be offered a discount code where potential customers who would purchase uh, these items these jewelry items would get 60% off. I will also get travel incentives. Now, I personally have never reached out to any brands or companies to collab personally because my focal point is organically growing because my focal point wasn't necessarily sponsors. And honestly, I didn't think that I was in a position to be sponsored as a small content creator and small business owner. So I've had several brands and several companies reach out to me. I'll even leave some little receipts here. This was over the, this is over a period span of, I would say like three years. Now, this one particular jewelry uh, brand was going to sponsor me. Now, personally, as someone who has extensive experience in the customer service field before I began working for myself, I am adamant about kindness. I am adamant about not being sarcastic. Customer service is everything. Now this particular brand, I kind of got a red flag at first because I remember when I was asking a number of, I was asking a variety of questions, which I am entitled to do so, being that they reached out to me. I kind of got the vibe that this particular brand manager was being a bit nasty. Now, me personally, Maybe it's because I'm a Capricorn, who knows, you know, Capricorn gang, 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 gang. I don't take things personal. One of the things, especially being from New York, you know what I'm saying? Like, growing up in New York, you get your ass cut. If you grow up in New York, you already got tough skin. Now, with that being said, now I'm just playing y'all. Got nothing to do with it. But me personally, I, I am not offended easily. I do not internalize or personalize. So for me, I just kind of let it roll off my shoulder. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. But I remember I asked a specific question. I asked a specific question and the response was like a bit nasty. And it wasn't just the answer to my question. It was kind of a, it's like, okay, you know, whatever. You reached out to me, I'm, 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 I'm just gonna, you know, be professional, whatever the case may be. And then they will always let me know, hey, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. So second time around, I'm about to put in my order for free and things like that or whatever the case may be. Um, some brands and some brands and companies that reach out to you, they will ask you to cover shipping. Now, mind you, I'm in the middle of shooting. I have to like I'm multitasking and she sent me this really lengthy, um, somewhat of a 
she sent me this really lengthy paragraph that listed all of the information that I had questions to. Now, I didn't have the time because there were other jewelry brands that were reaching out to me to sponsor. I was kind of hopping in and out of my direct messages. So I didn't have the time to really go back and read everything, but I asked her a second time another question, different from the first one, weeks ago when she first, when he or she first reached out to me. I'm assuming it's a she because the brand is predominantly women of uh, diverse backgrounds, which is why I really was excited about working with them. Um, I asked the question like about shipping, but of course, when she let me know, hey, you know, kindly read the terms and conditions. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm in the middle of shooting. I have the multi size I just thought you were gonna say yes or no, but that's fine. I didn't, I, I personally didn't say anything. I said, cool. So I'm going back to see where she sent me. And as I'm going up, I see shipping, blah, 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 blah. What I should have done was continuously kept scrolling because then I would have seen that shipping, that I had to cover the shipping fee, which I didn't get to that part. Again, I'm multitasking in the middle of shooting. So I get to that part and I write to her like, hey, you know, it's just your verbiage in this sentence can come off confusing to the consumer. So I'm just quickly asking you because I'm multitasking. So shipping included because I'm about to make a video to promote and I'm literally in the middle of shooting. So I don't feel like going all the way through. My camera's about to die. So all that stuff was happening. And on top of that, I'm going in and out of different direct messages um, on my Instagram because I'm promoting these sponsors who were about to sponsor me, right? This one in particular. So she kind of goes back and forth with me like, read the terms and conditions and i'm like yeah i already read it but i just want to make sure because the verbiage in which you use the context and i it's hard to decipher whether or not shipping is included or not i could have easily continuously kept scrolling up and i would have seen in bold letters you have to cover shipping but i didn't do that because me moving quickly and me just finding the word shipping in the middle of the paragraph i'm just like okay let me just ask her really quickly and instead of just saying yes or no, she just kept telling me, kindly read again and again, read it again and again. And I'm just like, I'm okay. Like, yes, I can do that. But because I'm in the middle of doing what I'm doing, I just wanted you to say yes or no. And for me personally, first impressions are everything, you know? And if I have a client, I'm going to treat you like you are my very first client. I'm going to treat you like you are my very last client. Every client gets the same respect. I value every client in the same aspect. And for me, as someone who used to be a server at restaurants uptown, restaurants at five-star Michelin restaurants downtown, I didn't care what ethnicity you were, how much you were ordering, what you came in looking like or dressing like, or what you were wearing, your appearance. You are a human being, so I'm going to treat you with kindness. And even if you ask, a question that is completely obvious. For example, I will have guests ask me, hi, do you have any um, chopsticks? Yes, when they will order sushi. Hi, do you have any chopsticks? And the chopsticks will be literally on the table right here or, or in the center of the table. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, um, did you look at the table? I'm sorry, um, do you have chopsticks? Did you look at the table? That's not gonna be my response. My response is gonna say, absolutely, yes, here. I'm gonna treat you with kindness. I'm gonna have a positive rapport with you. I'm going to make sure that the energy that I is one that I would like to be reciprocated. And personally, I don't care about the brand name. I don't care how huge your following is. Personally, I like to work with small brands. Um, and it was just kind of, it was just disappointing because I was excited to work with this particular jewelry sponsor. Again, they were a smaller brand. Um, which I love because I felt like they were able to focus on their brand ambassadors and it was just disappointing. So I was gonna make this video actually telling you how to get a sponsor as a small content creator. And then it ended up turning into why I turned down a jewelry sponsor. So this is just food for thought. Anyone who is a small business owner, large business owner, treat people with kindness even if someone asks a rhetorical question even if someone asks a question that is completely obvious where it's just like uh it's okay just to reiterate 
the answer, even if you have to do so more than one time. Obviously, I'm asking questions because I would like to know certain things. I don't want to be um, misled with certain information because I want to hop on YouTube and tell you guys about this sponsor, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. I was reading a text. But the moral of this entire video is to know your worth and the power of no. You don't have to say yes to everything. Again, there has been a number of brands and companies who has reached out to me, but personally, it's a matter of what are you representing and do I want to be in alignment with that? Does your brand represent something that I believe in? I've turned down three other brands because I felt like they didn't have as much diversity. Three things that I will leave this video with in a pop on a positive note, just to raise our vibrations. I personally feel like there were three main things that contributed into attracting a sponsor. The first one is posting high definition quality pictures that represents your brand, right? Like I said, first impressions are everything. So when these companies and brands are looking for brand ambassadors who they would like to sponsor and to pay, they are looking at your page. They're, they are looking at the aesthetics of your page. They, they are looking at the layout of your page. And at the end of the day, like I said, they're looking at your pictures and you don't want to post low quality pictures. You don't need a professional camera to take high quality pictures. There are a ton of editing apps that I have in my other videos, as well as the iPhone, the pocket camera. This is why I push her melanin pocket camera YouTube University because there are so many people that reach out to me telling me, Ryan, I want to launch a business, but I don't know how. Ryan, I want to be able to use the platform of YouTube, but I don't even have a YouTube channel. Ryan, I'm on YouTube and I don't know how to edit. And this is why I teach all of these things in my Her Melanin Pocket Camera YouTube Universities. And fellas, y'all come on on too. I know it says her, but it's for all of us. Okay. Just like how I declined this sponsor when I initially accepted the offer, first impressions are everything. So whenever you go on someone's page, okay, is she just posting anything? Is she just kind of just posting just randomness you know what i mean because people look at your page and the aesthetic of your page and the way you carry yourself the way you present yourself to the world and they recognize that and see okay you want the process to be seamless for the client for the customer if the client feels like they get on your page for example when i have clients that hop on my sales page before because okay i've had two websites in the past if you guys have been rocking with me for instance day one and i'm actually in the process of creating and launching my uh third website but it's like even on the sales page a confused consumer won't buy you want the process to be seamless for the client so if i'm reaching out i'm asking you questions and you're making it difficult for me telling me reread again read it over it's right here and then you send me a picture for the third a response instead of saying yes or no you send me the paragraph with everything underlined that could have just been an easy yes or no